Hi, in this session, we will discuss the application of all the concepts of geometry put together. First, let us take an example where concept of triangle as well as circle is put into use. Let us look at the diagram. Here, we have a circle inside which we have an isosceles triangle. Let us look at the values. The side base side of an isosceles triangle is given to us as 6 and the base angle is 30 degree. If we look at there is another small circle below the base of isosceles triangle which is touching the midpoint of isosceles triangle and at the same time it is touching the bigger circle. Now we are supposed to find out radius of the smaller circle. If we look at the angles given to us, we will be able to determine that we will be using Pythagorean triplet also and we will be using the concepts of circle also. If the angle given to us, the base angle 30 degree, if we take 30 degree as our reference point, we will be able to determine that the side AD that is the perpendicular drawn from point A to the base of isosceles triangle BC will be the opposite side of 30 degree and the base is 3 units and so opposite side will be nothing but 3 upon root 3 that is root 3 units. Here it is 3 centimeter and root 3 centimeter. Hence the hypotenuse that is AB will be nothing but 2 root 3 units. Now if we join B and E as shown in the diagram, we will get a right angle triangle, triangle ABE where AE which is also diameter of a circle will become hypotenuse of this triangle. Now as angle A was originally 120 degree, angle ABE will be 90 degree and angle A will be 60 degree and angle AEB will be 30 degree. So side opposite to 30 degree that is 2 root 3 and side opposite to 60 degree will be 2 root 3 into root 3 that is 6 and side opposite to 90 degree will be nothing but 4 root 3. So we got the diameter of the entire circle as 4 root 3 and if we go by the previous derivation side AD which is part of the same diameter is root 3. So if we subtract 4 root 3 and root 3 we will get 3 root 3 which will be diameter of a smaller circle. We were supposed to find out radius of a smaller circle. So that will be nothing but half of 3 root 3 which is nothing but 3 by 2 root 3. Let us look at another interesting example based on concept of right angle triangle and circles. We have a triangle given to us in the figure ABC where sides are 6, 8 and 10 centimeters. Though it is not mentioned that it is a right angle triangle but by the rule of Pythagoras theorem we can conclude that the triangle given to us is a right angle triangle with 90 degree at angle B. It is also given that we drop a perpendicular from B on AC and label that point as point D. Now we are supposed to consider BD as a radius and a circle is drawn cutting side AB and CB respectively at point P and Q and we are supposed to find out the ratio of AP and CQ. Now if we look at the side BD, side BD will be nothing but product of AB and CB divided by AC that is 6 into 8 divided by 10. So we will get side BD as 4.8. Now considering 4.8 as the radius, if we draw a circle from B, it will intersect AB at point P and BP will be 4.8 because that is the radius of the circle. Now as AB is 6 units, I can conclude that AP will be 6 minus 4.8 that is 1.2 units. Similarly, BQ will also be 4.8 and as BC is 8 units, CQ will be 8 minus 4.8 that is 3.2 units. So the required ratio that is AP is to CQ will be nothing but 1.2 is to 3.2. Same can also be mentioned as 3 is to 8. Hence the required answer 3 is to 8. Let us look at another interesting question which is based on the concept of quadrilateral and triangle both. Let us have a look at the diagram given. 
there is a rectangle ABCD and diagonal BD is also given to us. Now, there is another point P on AB which is a midpoint of AB. Hence, AP and PB is equal X and X as mentioned in the diagram. Now, there is a point Q on the diagonal BD where PQ is perpendicular. Now, we have a triangle so formed that is DPQ and it is given to us that the area of this triangle is 5 cm square. It is also given that the ratio of PQ and DQ is 1 is to 2. So, if PQ is Y, DQ is 2Y and we are supposed to find out area of entire rectangle. Again, because there is a triangle and because there is a perpendicular, we will be using the concept of Pythagoras theorem. If we look at the area which is given to us as 5 cm square, I can say that area of the triangle is half base which is PQ that is Y into height that is DQ that is 2Y. So, half into Y into 2Y that is Y square is equal to 5 and Y will be nothing but root 5. If Y is root 5, the second side that is DQ will be 2 root 5 and the hypotenuse that is nothing but DP will be 5. If we get DP as 5, it is already given in the question that AD is 4. So, taking again a Pythagorean triplet 4 and 5, the third side has to be 3. So, if AP is 3, the entire side of rectangle that is AB will be 6. Now, if we have AD as 4 and AB as 6, the area of rectangle given here will be 4 into 6 that is 24 square centimeter. Now, let us look at a very interesting and challenging question based on the concepts of lines and triangles. Here, in the question given, we have a diagram where AB and CD are parallel lines with base BD and perpendicular to BD. Now, lines AD and CB intersect at point P and we are supposed to find out the height PQ. It is also given that AB is 12 and CD is 8. Now, in such a situation, there can be two different ways in which we can solve a question. First approach, which is the more conventional approach, is drawing a similarity between triangles APB and CPD, which is also possible, considering that there are two vertically opposite angles at point P. But this will be slightly lengthy. Here we have a very good and interesting property of semi-harmonic mean. Here the height PQ will be nothing but semi-harmonic mean of AB and CD. So semi-harmonic mean will be what? Semi-harmonic mean will be product of both the sides divided by summation of both the sides. So AB into CD that is 12 into 8 when divided by 12 plus 8 we will get 96 divided by 20 which is nothing but 48 divided by 10 or 4.8. Hence the side PQ will be 4.8 centimeters. There is one interesting property based on circles. This question was also asked in CAT previously. We have adopted a pattern and changed the values here. Let us look at the question. There are three semicircles, one big semicircle with the diameter A and B, another two semicircles drawn inside the big semicircle with considering diameter as AO and OB and O as the center of the big semicircle. The centers of AO and OB are taken as P and Q respectively. There is a third circle drawn in the free space touching all the semicircles and the center of this circle is S. Now, we are supposed to find out radius of the small circle with center S and it is given that the diameter AB is 12 centimeter. Now, there can be two different approaches. First approach is the conventional approach where we will join the points P, S, and O. If we look at this triangle, we will get a isosceles triangle and if we look at just a triangle P, S and O, we will get a right angle triangle where SO is the height, PO is the base and PS is the hypotenuse. We already know the diameter AB as 12. So AO will be 6 and PO 
because P is the center, so PO will be 3. PO is already 3. OS will be nothing but the overall radius minus the radius of small circle that is 6 minus R wherein R is the radius of small circle which is what we are supposed to find out. And the hypotenuse PS, hypotenuse PS is nothing but combination of radius of the small semicircle with P as center and another circle with S as the center. So it is nothing but 3 plus R. Now solving this by the help of Pythagoras theorem we will get 3 square plus 6 minus R the whole square is equal to 3 plus R the whole square. If we solve this we will get the value of R as 2. But here we also have a direct property where in such a situation the radius of smaller circle will always be one third of radius of the bigger circle. So radius over here will be one third of 6 because diameter AB is 12. So radius will be 6 and one third of 6 is 2. This could have been calculated in less than 30 seconds. We have discussed almost all the important properties based on the application of geometry in this session. I hope all the concepts will be helpful to you in your exam. All the best.